I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and sharing some brilliant questions. Here is a set of questions from uh, Mr. Saja. I'm only taking one of them since I already have a very similar question solved in my channel. So I'm going to club them all together for convenience of uh, most of the subscribers. This is an application on rational functions and it is a very important question from test point of view. The question names have been changed. The question is Anil and Ben set off at the same time on a 30 kilometer walk for charity. Anil walks 1.4 kilometers per hour faster than Ben but sees a friend on route and stops to talk for 20 minutes. Even with this delay, he finishes the walk two hours ahead of Ben. How fast was each walking and how long did it take for each person to finish the walk? So, uh, so that is, let us say, a 30 kilometer walk. We are going to use distance, speed and time. So remember this triangle whenever you're working with distance, speed and time. As you know, distance is product of speed and time. Now in this relation, we have to work basically on time, right? So, so from here you can write that time is distance over speed, right? So that is the relation which we are going to work on. The total walk here is 30 kilometers. Right. Our units will be for time hours. So the two persons, Anil and Ben, so let us say, we say VA is the velocity for Anil and VB is for Ben. When we say Anil and Ben set off for this walk, Anil walks 1.5 kilometers per hour faster than Ben. So we can actually relate these two. We know velocity of Anil is, that the speed of Anil is faster and it's 1.4 more, right? So. So we could relate them like this, correct? Now from here, we can find both the times. Time taken by Anil will be what? Time taken by Anil will be the distance and the speed with which Anil walks, which is uh, VB plus 1.4. Plus also the time when he stops, 20 minutes, right? So when we say, 20 minutes, 20 minutes is equal to 20 over 16 hours, right? So put this 20 over 60, right? And time taken by Ben will be, he walks steadily at pace of VB, right? So that is the time taken. And we are also given that even with this delay, he finishes the walk two hours ahead of Ben. So that means Ben takes two hours more than Anil, right? So that's what it, uh, it means, right? Or you can say this time minus two is Anil's time, right? So we can say time which Anil takes is time which Ben takes minus two hours. Does it make sense to you? So this is the basic framework for our solution. So I hope the concept is clear to you. Correct. So with this concept in mind, we are going to solve this question. It is important to share this with you since we could have many situations where one person is stopping or, you know, uh, uh, the other person is uh, walking faster, something like this, right? So now let's begin our uh, solution. We'll take this as our base. So we know the equation is the time taken by Anil is time taken by Ben minus two hours, right? So clearly from here, time taken by Anil is 30 over this, right? So let's write down. So we have 30 over velocity or speed of Ben plus 1.4 plus now 20 over 60, it is one third of an hour, is equal to time taken by Ben, distance of 30 divided by Ben's velocity, which is Vb, minus 2 because even then 
Anil reached two hours earlier, so two hours less. Does make sense to you? So we form our equation which has only one variable that is the speed of bend. And from here we can actually solve, right? So let's take all the terms to the right side and then we'll get a quadratic equation to solve. So 0 equals, so I'm taking all these terms to the right side. So we have 30 over V bend minus this, which is 30 over VB plus 1.4 minus 2 minus 1 over 3, correct? So we have 0 equals 2. Now, <clears throat> uh, see, this I could have combined. This is like 3 times 2, 6 and 1, 7, right? Okay, so let's do one more step. 30 over V bend minus 30 over V bend plus 1.4 minus 3 times 2 plus 1, 7 over 3. Now we can take a common denominator and for us, the common denominator is product of all these three, right? So it is 3 times VB times VB plus 1.4, right? Now this term is missing this and 3. So we'll write uh, rather both these terms are missing this 3, right? Okay, so we get 3 times 30, which is 90. Let's write it like this. 3 times 30 times VB plus 1.4. So we're taking care of the first one. Now this gets multiplied by 3 and VB. So 3 times VB times 30. And 7 gets multiplied by uh, these two, which is uh, VB times VB plus 1.4, right? Now, when you open this bracket, so 3 times 30, which is 90, and 3 times 30 VB, these two terms get cancelled, right? So the first two terms get cancelled. So let me just, uh, because we have less space, so I'm just kind of working out, uh, showing you the values. And uh, what we get here is the product of uh, this and the number. So we get 3 times 30 times 1.4. 126. So I could write this as 126, right? So this is a, not a decimal, right? This is like a product, okay? So we have here 126 multiplying 330 and 1.4. And now let's go to this place. We get minus 7VB squared and 7 times 1.4. 7 times 1.4, which is, let's write it in decimals. 9.8 which is minus 9.8 all this should be equal to 0 correct so denominator when you cross multiply becomes 0 so we have a quadratic equation correct and uh, uh, this is 9.8 VB VB times this times 7 now let me write this in a different thing the final equation and then we'll write solution for the same so we have here 7VB squared plus 9.8VB minus 126 equals to 0. Correct? Okay. Uh, let's find the solution of this in this space. So we are going to use the quadratic formula to find the solution. Uh, we can say that... Uh, VB uh, is equal to what? So the formula will be, uh, as you know, VB is equal to, we are using this formula, minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC. This is the quadratic formula, divided by 2A, correct? So that formula will be used to solve this now further. So we can say that this velocity is minus of 9.8 plus minus square root of 9.8 square and minus and minus becomes positive so let me write here positive 4 AC means 4 times 7 times 126 so it is um, 
4 times 7 times 126 is that clear to you divided by twice 7 twice 7 so so that's what we have now right let's use calculator to calculate this answer so within square root we have 9.8 square plus 4 times 7 times 126 we'll do square root of all this so square root of our answer which is uh, let's write decimal value 60.2 right so we get that as uh, 60.2 divided by 14 so now uh, we'll take away 9.8 because we have to have positive answer right and we're going to divide this by 14 and decimal value for this is 3.6 correct so we get the the velocity of uh, Ben as 3.6 units are kilometers per hour so now velocity of Anil is uh, as you know 1.4 more so you just add that which is 5 kilometers per hour clear so once you have the velocities you can always substitute and find the time also right so you can now find the time which Anil took ta so i'm basically substituting uh, 5 for vb here uh, i mean 30 over 5 right so we'll write 30 over 5 plus 1 over 3 correct uh, well that is in minutes 20 minutes correct so we'll do 30 over 5 which is 6 hours and 20 minutes right okay and time for ben will be two hours more <clears throat> and uh, so we can write this as eight hours and 20 minutes is that clear to you so that is how we can actually solve the question so i hope you understand these steps what we did was vb plus 1.5 was 1.4 was 5 we divide 30 by 5 because 6 hours and you know this is uh, 20 minutes right this is your 20 minutes clear so we wrote that 20 minutes so <clears throat> this is probably the simplest uh, way of doing this question i'll actually provide you with links of similar questions and i hope you understand the concept feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for sharing once again and keep sharing. Thank you.